Hey everyone, welcome to not a poor video in any capacity. So if you normally watch my videos to watch pouring, uh, you're probably not going to be very interested in this particular video. Um, it's just literally me resining a painting and sharing my thoughts about the process and the product. Uh, so this is actually really nerve wracking for me because I am not very experienced with resining things. Um, I resined a piece of wood once, and the only other time that I resined something was that series of videos that I did like maybe half a year ago on like a considerably smaller piece. And uh, this is actually the first time that I've used art resin. So, I mean, there is a bit of, I was really conflicted as to what I was going to first resin with this art resin because it's like expensive stuff. Um, so on one hand, I didn't want to ruin a painting that I had done with the resin because I'm so inexperienced. But on the other hand, I didn't want to waste resin on a crappy painting. So I decided just to bite the bullet and do it on one of the best paintings that I've ever done. So there, that's why anyways, I was so nervous. I think that right off the bat, the most interesting thing about this art resin was that when I was mixing it up in the three minutes that it suggests that we mix up the resin with, um, there is like these little bubbles, like yes, bubbles in the resin, but there is actually like little floating bubbles in the air. So <laughs> that was bizarre. And I was kind of worried about my eyes because I wasn't wearing goggles. <laughs> Um, but it was kind of fun. Like it kind of made it like, you know, uh, magical almost. It was certainly, it added to the stress of resining the product. So I don't know if y'all has, have ever had, um, the floating bubbles, but that was definitely unexpected and interesting. I also want to add here that my studio is in my apartment and I have like four cats. So <laughs> it's really, really difficult to be in a fur free zone. And this video is compressed so much, mainly because I spend half of it just picking cat hairs out of the resin, which was like remarkable that they even got in there. I mean, the cats are not allowed into this room, but for some reason it must be in the air. I don't know. Um, I spend a long time, regardless, picking out little hairs of uh, out of the resin. And for that reason, I actually decided not to put plastic on it. I just cut, uh, shut the door, um, mainly because I was afraid whipping out plastic was going to disturb more air and get more hairs in there. So I'm just kind of crossing my fingers and hoping at this point. Um, another thought that I had while I was doing this, at first I was moving the um, heat gun thing really quickly because I was afraid that it was going to burn the resin. However, well, it looks like really, really quickly here, but I slowed down um, the speed in which I was passing it over the air bubbles because it, it was just more effective and, you know, it... it it ensured that I didn't miss any spots. And I actually ended up turning on a couple of lights too in order to like look at different angles and just see if there was any lumps or weird things or cat hairs, which there was plenty of. And I think that it actually really made a difference in the overall look of my art. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that it just kind of gave this a really cool dimension and depth. And I'm really excited to start resonating more of my paintings. So that's about it. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.